Hi everybody, Adrian here for ClearSnap. I'm here to share with you a brief tutorial today on getting a fun crackle background on your next layout. So to get started, what we're going to be using today is some super heavy gesso, a palette knife for crafting. You can find it in the art medium aisle at your local craft store. Uh, or you could be, or you could use a credit card, old credit card. Um, also, we're going to be using our clear snap rollograph and design wheel in the crackle background. Okay, so we're also going to be using Donna Salazar um, smooch spritz, and I'm going to be using Sea Breeze Tea Party Pralines and Cream and Caramel Latte. And as you can see, they are some of my favorites. So you're going to be shaking them up. I love how they're in glass bottles. I love the clinking sound. <laughs> okay, so I've already started on my background here to give, give it to some time to dry because I'm going to come back to that and missed it. But I wanted to give it a chance to set in. So what I'm going to be doing here is I'm just going to take some super heavy gesso and I'm going to come over here and I'm going to start spreading it out. I want to spread it on real thick. You can always go over it again. and You can always thin it out if you need to. I like to make it really thick as it really gets some really deep creases. So I'm going to take my clear snap roll graph and design wheel and I'm going to really prime it and get it ready. I'm going to put a lot of pressure and start rolling it across my paper. And I'm even going to go past where the gesso stops and up here. It kind of gives a cool extension. So I'm simply just rolling it across my gesso. There's some seriously awesome deep creases going on in there. Isn't that awesome? I really love how that turned out. So once that's all done, I can go back and there's not as much gesso on my stamp anymore. I'm going to go in here, kind of fill in, in the areas that are a little bare. You don't want to waste any of that precious gesso. And I really this, oh, I love this stamp. It's so fun. The reason I choose to do this over any other crackle medium is because I get those defined cracks uh, that you can't really get from a crackle medium. You really have to put a lot of work into it. And just look how easy that is. It literally took me less than a minute to do. So I'm going to close up my gesso and clean my palette knife off. And we are going to go in and start misting. So I'm going to take my smooch spritz and I'm actually going to start with my lightest color first. So I'm going to be using pralines and cream and I'm just going to lift my paper up and I'm going to spritz it along the edge. Heavy mist. Okay? So I'm going to get it run, shake it up and let it run down a little bit. Okay? Next, I'm going to go for my pralines and cream. I'm shaking it up real well. And I'm just going to do the same thing. And you get the idea. You can do it heavy in some areas and lighter in others. Next, I'm going to go in with my tea party. Wow, look how fun that is. You can just really get it going. Shaking it down here. You can always go in and dab up the excess if you need to, to help if you don't like the too dramatic look with the This spritz is super concentrated, which I love. And it's really going to define those creases in that crackle stamp with the gesso when you get the darker colors mixed in. I'm going to show you a close up here. I'm going to turn it this way so you can really see how cool that is. Wow. That really turned out nice. Okay. So once that is done, I'm going to give that a chance to set in a little bit. I'm going to take my Colorbox Paint Box Pigment Ink from Clear Snap. And I'm just going to open it up and I'm going to show you uh, briefly what I'm going to do with my layout. 
So I'm going to just pop out a couple different colors. And I'm not going to actually do it because it's still wet. But I'm just going to kind of show you how I blend it. I just kind of brush it in circles here and there. I do some up the, up the side and here and there and get some really fun texture, some added texture. So I actually went in with um, my red color and my little magenta. And I think I also went in with my blue at the very end and just went in certain spots and filled in. I also really love how these are so concentrated. You can heat set them and they are ready to go. And it just leaves dramatic color, which I absolutely love. I'm going to show you the final product. I fussy cut my kids out out of a photo. And I went in with my crackle background. I went in with my smooch spritz. And then I finally finished up with my pigment ink here and there. So you see, you see a lot of the pink. You see a lot of this coral color and reds. I added some purple and some navy blue. I even went in after I was done uh, fussy cutting the photo and did some shadow work underneath the kids' feet. Okay? Look how cool that is. It's really bold. Love it. And that's it. So easy. It's cost effective. You're using all the all the products you already have in your arsenal to create some beautiful, beautiful layouts. Okay? So thank you so much for coming. I so appreciate you stopping by and checking out the video. All right, thank you.